Hello and welcome to episode 79 of my Working with Todoist series. In this episode, I want to show you how I manage email and Todoist together. Now, uh, email for most, for many, many of the people I talk to, email is just one of those horrible, horrible places that is really, really difficult to organize. And I, like most people, apparently I get the average number of emails per day. I get between 50 and 70 emails a day. But by the end of the day, I have essentially an inbox zero. Now, how I do this is I have a couple of rules. The first rule is if I is the two minute rule. I, I use uh, a very simple process of two minute rules. When I get an email, the question I ask myself is, uh, what is it? Of course, it's very much like the GTD principle. So what is it? If it's reference materials and I need to read it, well, I'll just send it straight to Evernote. Uh, if it's um, <clears throat> if it's something that I can deal with in two minutes or less, I will deal with it immediately. And if it's just trash, I will just delete it straight away. Um, for CC'd emails, emails that I've been CC'd on, and it's just for my information, I quite often just send that straight to archive, have a quick scan, and then just bang. Again, I can do that in less than two minutes. But the first thing I need to do, point you out is that in all my email, uh, I have three email accounts. This is my personal personal productivity account. Uh, so this is where my working with videos and all my YouTube related information comes from, as well as my Medium blog. My Fancor email, which is my business account and my iCloud account, which is what I use for online shopping and that sort of thing. So <clears throat> first of all, if we look at this, what you'll notice is I have these three emails of the email folders that I've created. Um, the email folder is very, very simple. It's action this day, archive and waiting for action this day means that I have to deal with it today, but I just don't have time at this present moment in time. Archive is what it basically is. It just all emails that have been dealt with get sent to archive and waiting for is emails that I am waiting for a response from. I have the same setup in my uh, company account and I have the same setup in my uh, iCloud account. All these email um, folders here, these are just the standard emails that come in from the, the actual email accounts. So what I've done is I've set up an email here, which is just a demo. So let's just open up this email and then let's send, I want to say send this to I need to send this to my um, <clears throat> email. So let's say I'm going to need this. It's going to take me longer than two minutes to do. So first of all, I'm going to reply to this uh, email. And I'm going to, whoops, sorry, I'm replying to it. No, I need to forward this email. So I'm going to forward this email to <clears throat> my Todoist account. So uh, send it to my Todoist inbox. So that's now gone. Now, once I've processed that, this whole thing will be moved to my action this day. So boom, it's gone to my action this day folder. Now, let's go over into Todoist and I just need to refresh Todoist. And there, blah, 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 blah. Let's just sync, let's see if it will come in. There we go, here it comes. So now I've got this email in here. So essentially I can just forget about that email in my action this day uh, folder because I've got my reminder in my inbox and when I do my review processing at the end of the day I will see that I can click on the notes section it tells me what the email is this is an important email and boom I can just go straight into the email and just deal with it there and then so it's always going to be in my inbox until I deal with it now I have covered this part in a previous episode but what I strongly recommend that you do is you get the email uh, address for your inbox. So do that. You go into the little from your inbox um, window. If you go on the toolbar here, the tool icon, go down to email task to this project and this will give you a copyable link, which is here. And you can copy that and paste it into your <coughs> uh, contacts for inbox. Now, if you are working on a specific project, because you can do this, you can get the email address for any project. So I've got to do this book here. Again, if I go up here, I can get the email address to this project. However, 
What I don't like is having to do that because I can easily lose track of where my tasks have gone. So I only have Todoist set up for sending email to my inbox. I can process it later in my regular processing routine and everything's good to go. So just to remind you, what I would strongly recommend is that you set up three folders in your email and do this for all your email addresses. One is called Action This Day, one is called Archive, and one is called Waiting For. And the process would be an email that you need to deal with and send it to, to be dealt with later. What I strongly recommend is first, you forward it to your Todoist inbox. Second, you move that email to your Action This Day folder. That way, you would have access uh, to all your items that you need to deal with that day. If you need to leave it off until tomorrow, then you can actually set up a Todoist task to do for tomorrow. But basically, that's how I process email uh, using my email program and using my Todoist. By the way, for those of you who are just curious, I'm currently testing Newton Mail, which was formerly called Cloud Magic. I am really, really enjoying this. And actually, for those of you who are considering using to, uh, Newton Mail, I should point out that one of the things that you can do is you can link. And if you followed the episode I did to do this for, you can actually link this to your um, Todoist um, account. So I could actually have sent it to Todoist directly from here. But for those of you who are using non uh, emails that are not actually email programs that don't like Apple Mail or the standard email on your phone or whatever, maybe you can't set it up to send directly to Todoist. So this is the other way to do it. Okay, I hopefully you found this episode, episode 79, useful. Uh, if you have any questions about how I'm processing email, please feel free to drop them in the comments section below. And for the rest of it, I wish you all a very, very productive week, and I'll see you in the next episode.